So we all have seen a CSI episode where they're trying to find the murder by analyzing a blood stain found on the crane side. So today I decided to see if in my lab, a real world, doing such experiments is also taking few than a minute. So you can see she put the samples in and as soon as she closed the door, she got the results. But is this the same case in our lab, a not Hollywood lab based at UCLA? So let's put it to the comparison. So first you have to take your samples. So usually you already have extracted DNA, which already take an hour, but let's cut it short. Just do the reaction that she put into the machine at the end of the video clip. So you see you have all these samples that are a little bit less colorful and glamorous than in the CSI. Then you pipe it from those samples into a plate that you will be able to put in the machine as she just did in the clip. See how funny it is. Then you walk to where the PCR machine is located. A very sexy location I could, you can see. A lot of windows, nice lights, sexy people. Wow, I'm sure you're amazed. And be aware, that's the real machine. In fact, that's kind of like a similar from the episode. Then you put your plate, you just prepare, which is actually the only time it's similar to the episode. And then you load in the machine and the reaction will take, surprise, a minute, an hour, sorry, and 34 minutes. A little more than the minute from the CSI episode. And here are the results, with color at least. So as you can see, it's kind of different.